Oh, yeah, that's different. Yeah, <laughs> not me! Him! Get him! Oh, why are you all orange? You just got a bath! to be a tribute of Gunner, the reason we have not been on YouTube for the past two weeks. He is no longer with us. He was the valuablest dog we have ever owned. This one was when um, he was sleeping. I was trying to get him to sleep with me and I was covering up with him up with a blanket because I feel like I was selfish to him. But then he left and went up to her room and slept with her. Me. But you're a really good, a really good dog that we had. The second story is when I was sleeping. And she woke me up and she told me that I had to say bye to him. He is. He said, she said you have to say goodbye to Gunner. Yeah. And she said that I'm later. I just, I just miss him up so much. I just wanted to say Gunnar was a really good dog and we miss him so much. We, he may have stolen my chocolate milk, but he was still amazing. And yes, he was a chocolate milk monster. He wait. He was a good chocolate monster. If I walk out of the room just for a second, his tongue will be in my chocolate milk, chocolate milk monster. It was. It was a good three and a half years with you. I hope he is very loving in his new home. R.I.P. Little buddy. So I have something right now because this is gonna be really hard for me. So, someday the memories of those last days with him will fade and you will think about your dog as he was in happy times. In all his butt wet, butt wiggling, people loving, face licking, mischief making glory, Gunnar was the absolute best dog ever. He was my boo, my little munchkin, my companion. Not only was he all of those, but he was my best friend. Gunnar got me through a lot of tough times. After bad practices, we would cuddle in bed and watch movies. Of course he wouldn't because he'd be asleep and snoring away. Let me tell you, he sounded like a whole human being when he snored. He'd even wake, wake me up in the middle of the night because he, he was so loud. Haha. <laughs> he wasn't a normal dog. He was a crazy boy. Here's a little backstory. Gunnar was rescued. He was in a 6x6 six six room and... The owner only came back to feed him, feed and water him every three to four days. People that took him, that rescued him from there said that if he, they didn't take him, he was going to drive down the road and let him jump out the window. If you ask me that, should, ask me, no dog should ever be treated like that. It makes me sick to hear that he had such a horrible life before we took him. Gunnar, you will be missed by so many people. I hope you are having the time of your life up there. Thank you for listening to me when I told you to go home. I'm so glad that you went in my arms. I love you always and forever, my sweet baby angel. Gunner, I can't, like, I can't put my finger on it that he is gone. Like, Christmas, he was doing fine. He was being crazy. And then, four days after, he was gone. Like, at 3.30 in the morning, Mom came up to me. He's like, you need to come down with Gunner because I think he's holding on to see you. And, like... 
like, I don't know how to explain that. The feeling of that is so bad, I can't even explain it. Like, he was laying there in the door and he would not look at me because he knew that he wouldn't, he knew that it was going to hurt me to go. And he laid there and just held on for seven hours before he went. And finally, I laid down on the floor and I cried and cried. And I, his head, I was in my arms and I'm like, just go home. And it's, it's, like, it's so hard to explain. His breathing was like, and his last breath, last breath was at 10.15 in the morning, and he finally went home after I told him to go. That dog, he was, he being alone, like, that dog was with me everywhere I went. I was in the bathroom, he'd lay in there and make sure I was okay. I went and got in the shower, he was there. He didn't want anything to happen to me, so he followed me everywhere I went. So... Like, it's just, it's so odd without him. Like, he's in my room every night. I'll be laying there, trying to go to sleep. There's his paw trying to get up in my bed. I'm like, no, Gunner, I want my bed. <laughs> he's such a bed hog. Like, he's, sometimes he'll be like this, and sometimes he'll be like this. And so, like, it just, it's so weird not to have a dog in my bed nudging me off the bed every 15 minutes. It's really, really, really hard. And I just really wish that he didn't go so soon because we only had him like she's dead for three and a half years and so it's been a rough three weeks to say the least rest in peace our sweet boy fly high we love you so much
you take it